Okay, we're going to use acrylic works polish on the body of the plane. We've got an area here that's got white, a uh, red, and a maroon um, paint. Looks like it's faded pretty badly. So we're going to go ahead and apply the acrylic works polish to this area and see if we can get it uh, polished back up to uh, looking a lot better than it does currently. So again, Mark has used a damp rag, He's hitting all the areas. Notice he's going from white to red to maroon, so. You can see this pulling off things. You can actually hear it also. A lot of times ultra services like this, and you can see what we pulled off on the rag there. Let me find it. There we go. So we'll fold it over. Put a little more on here and continue to work this surface. But Mark did pull off a significant amount of contaminants on the first pass. And the brighter red is really coming back the way it's supposed to be. And even the white now, as opposed to the surface on the rest of the plane is much wider already. You can see he pulled up much less contaminants on the second pass. So that means the he's heavy almost white. Uh, the heavy white, okay. So got a little bit to go there. That's just the old dead paint that's gonna come off and we're gonna go back to the original surface. There we go, a little red. A little white, Mark's gonna flip it around and probably use one more application on it. You can see all the different things we pulled off of this one little area. So we'll put the clean side, just a little dab, and work it in one more time just to make sure we've got it all. Notice we're doing this in direct sunlight. We have to pardon the heavy equipment in the background, but we are at an airport, so they're apparently working. But you can definitely see and tell a major difference from when we started to what we've got going on now with this particular part of the aircraft. Okay, here we are. Here we are back again doing the rear body portion of uh, Aero Piper plane. We've given it a couple passes already, but Mark's still pulling off contaminants, so we're going to give it another shot. And uh, you can do this as long as you want to, as long as you're still pulling off contaminants from the paint, old dead paint, wax, whatever else has been applied to this, this plane, or whatever surface you're working on. But I can already tell in looking at it that I'm getting reflectivity, which will mean we're getting back to the main surface what this used to be when it was newer and a lot more reflection and we'll look at Mark's rag and he's still pulling off as you can see some red tint which means we're still also coming from this one now not quite getting not quite getting all of it off yet but still uh, getting the majority off you just keep working it until you're back down to the base yeah, still a lot of red tint. coming from this red stripe now. Okay, so we've got one red stripe that's given us a little bit of an issue. A little harder to clean, but you can see we've got several different shades of red and almost a pink color from, again, the dead paint cells that were originally on this plane and we're now pulling off and restoring back down to the original color that it was. It's hard to believe even now without us even finishing the job that that used to be this when we started and that's an amazing difference in the end of this versus what that looks like now. But that's what Acrylic Works will do. It'll get your paint job back to its original condition.
One last hit and we'll be back. Mark is satisfied that he's gotten as much as he can off of that surface. He will then apply the water sheen to that surface and then buff it out with a buffing towel and will be completed. But there is already a night and day difference without us even having buffed out anything between this surface that we're working on now and the surfaces below and to the rear which were all in the same shape when we started, but we've just basically restored this one small section to an almost, you know, as new as you're gonna get it, basically. So now we're gonna put the water sheen on it. That's just plain water. What that does is sets the acrylic. And once he gets finished with that, he'll use his buffing towel and buff out the rest of it. You can see now you've got just a beautiful, beautiful shine on what was a dull red surface that you've got. You've got uh, you know, this incredible, incredible uh, shine on this particular area as it, and opposed to what it was before. So that's acrylic works on the back of a plane in three different colors. Oh, one other thing, is it still running? Yeah. One of the other little tests. Take your thumb and let's just try to work it off so you can get some idea of the durability it'll have against rain. But if I can't rub this off right now, even with my thumb, and you can see and even still... whatever fingerprints are left, just take your dry hand, wipe away your fingerprints. That's your durability at the same time. It looks like a candied apple versus that and versus that. So that's acrylic works on the back of a plane.